and a one, and a two, and a... <laughs> Welcome to Mikko Works. Welcome to uh, another Mikko's mini clip. In this mini clip, I'm gonna change a car battery. And here's a snail. That's a common Finnish snail that we have here. I don't know which those are. Slugs maybe. Luonto. The car in question, Opel. Some some people know this as Vauxhall, Opel Vectra, uh, year 2008. It's the C model. There are some bumps, signs of life. We hit a deer, <laughs> or my wife hit a deer. There is a saying that there are two types of people who live in Vesila, which is very near where I live. Those who have been in a deer accident and those who will and that is pretty true so my wife has already been i'm waiting for my turn the reason why we are changing the battery it's due to the covid covid corona virus it has r really ruined the battery on this car because i haven't used this car I have, this has just been standing around here waiting for it to be used uh, the battery had died which is obvious when you have when you don't use your car for half a half a year. Obviously, some, yeah, the battery is not gonna last. But yeah, I tried to fix the battery, recharge it first with the other car battery uh, with jumper cables. That didn't go so well. I got some electricity there, but didn't work. So I put it on the charger overnight, and then uh, because I'm a I'm a silly mother, I didn't remove the jumper uh, the the recharger before i started ignite the car and that really destroyed the battery it might have destroyed something else as well but i don't know yet because i need to change the battery first to find out what else has gone but the battery got destroyed entirely i can't get any current there anymore it's just dead here's the jumper cables and the recharger i used this recharger works well with tractors. I don't know if it's actually meant to be used on a car battery. Uh, there's a boost button that will definitely destroy your car if you're not careful. When we live in such remote places as this, the cars need to be reliable. So I always, when I'm fixing them, I try to use quality, quality parts. This is the new battery. Uh, I checked that this should be uh, compatible with the car. I also have this lube uh, battery uh, clamp grease using extra stuff like this. I hope they help. It, they cost a few extra euros, so it's not a heavy investment. But if it gives any assistance in the battery life or ignition or whatever, then it's worth using it. Let's pop the hood, is what the cool kids say, right? Here's the battery. Seven, eight, nine, twelve. I'm missing ten. Oh, golly. No matter, I found it. Okay, ten is the better match. So we'll do the old switcheroo and attach 11 to its correct position, so I'll be finding that in the future. Right. That is actually, if you have car trouble, first thing that's good to check is the battery, if you have electric car trouble. There are some confusing and interesting areas where the battery battery issues might start appearing All right the battery was not attached it has been just jumping around and i had a professional change it last time the new battery is from the same manufacturer as the old and i have been 
happy with this. So this is called Snadger. Snadger. I think it's yeah. I think it's Polish. They make the best horses and the best batteries. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, I've been in Poland once, and it was a beautiful country. And they were very, very friendly, everybody there. In this battery, there's a small hatch that you can see. That you can check the color. If it's green, it says that the battery is charged. If the color is uh, black, it means that it needs to be charged. It's discharged at, at the moment. And if it's white, it's, it's needing service. <sighs> God damn it all. I think I'm gonna first put in the battery and then slide that there after after the fact. I don't know what this was. It says General Motors. Arkal Automotive. If anybody knows what this could be, give me a heads up and tell me what's what's wrong with my car. There we go. Let's see if I can slide that under. There we go. That's better. Now it's it's not jumping around as much. And there we go. I mostly purchased that grease for the tractors because as you saw maybe in the one of the other clips before I had some troubles igniting or getting ignition going with one of the tractors, the red brown. That is an issue with bro both of the tractors. So they are on the they're in the rain and yeah there's there's lots in them that need fixing. I'm always afraid to tighten these too much. I have a tendency of break stuff that I touch because of my massive man strength. <laughs> that is stupid. Look at that and look at those kilometers. Oh, it works. Does it work? And a one and a two and a God damn it, yeah! <laughs> so I'm happy. I'm happy that this one still works. This makes me jolly. This was Mikko Works Mini Clips. If you enjoyed this, leave a like. If you hated it, leave two likes. You know, show them who's the boss. You can leave F three likes, man. Comment on what you liked or disliked. Subscribe. Ring that little bell so that you'll see all the options of the subscribees there. So you'll see all the content that we're putting on. And that's it. Ei muuta kuin moro moro.